the Mary Annabelle final. Number one is Wreath, held by Joe and Joanne Thompson and Jack Mosaic. 1A Baltic region, held by Joe and Joanne Thompson and Catella Manzi. Two is Nook Hanover, by Russell Williams and Bob Roberts. Three toss up of Park Lane Trotter and William O'Donnell. Four Johnlin, by Robert Key and John Glesman and Howard Parker. Five Hombro Rhubarb, by Arlene and Jules Siegel and Wally Hennessy. Six My Dolly, by Lindy Farms of Connecticut, F.A. Stable and Mike Lachance. Seven True Blue Victory, held by Overall Invest and Jan Janssen. Eight Dame Levesque. With Jimmy Tactor and number nine, Field of Motion. Irving Liverman, Charles Sylvester, and John Campbell. Trotters for the fifth. The Mary Annabelle final. Seven minutes to post. Trotters for the fifth. The Mary Annabelle final. Mine again moving up. Here they come. And they're off. Baltic region off stride. It's Wreath for the lead. On the outside, there goes True Blue Victory. And quickly, True Blue Victory. And Jan Janssen to the front by two. Reed second off stride goes Dame Levesque. Dame Levesque on a break. Nook Hanover in third. Then a length and a half toss up fourth. The outside field of motion. Followed by John Lynn. Then it's three more to Ombro Rhubarb. And four, my Dolly. Quarter 28 and four. Down the back stretch, they trot and True Blue Victory leads in a length, length and a half. Reed second by two with no count over third. Campbell in gear with field of motion. Followed by John Lynn. Toss up sixth. Ombro Rhubarb, the outside seventh and three to my Dolly. Approach the half and field of motion. Campbell puts her on the lead by two over True Blue Victory. Another two and a half to John Lynn. Half 58 and three. Under the far turn, feel the motion by a length, length and a half. True Blue victory. Jan Janssen trying to come back out after the leader. Then it's a length and a half to John Lynn third with Reed fourth. That's Nook Canover in fifth. Test one, two. They approach three quarters and feel the motion continues with the lead. True Blue victory stalks the leader second the outside. John Lynn, Reed fourth, three quarters. 128 and two. 316s to go, and they're on their way home. And feel the motion. She leads it by two, two and a half with an eighth to go. Trueville victory trying to get to her. Then it's another four back to Nook Hanover. But in deep stretch, it's John Campbell with feel the motion. Winning the Mary Annabelle trot by two. Trueville victory second in 157 and four. And returning to the winner's circle, Irving Liverman, Charles Sylvester's field of motion. A two at Bay Philly by Super Bowl, trained by Charles Sylvester. Driven to victory. His third, Mary Annabelle win, John Campbell. Lifetime mark for the winner, 157 and four. Congratulations. You know, we are going to have Continental Airlines drawings and we'll have representatives from Continental Airlines making the presentation. And we want to welcome Sharon Pierce here tonight, our senior sales manager, and Sam Batia, all from Continental Airlines. They'll be making the presentation in a moment. Set with uh, John Campbell and take it away, Holly. Thanks, John. We're in the winner circle with, yes, John Campbell's here, winner, winning driver in the Mary Annabelle. John, yet post 10 coming into the race. Tell us about your uh, strategy. Well, I just wanted to get her away from the gate with these two-year-olds when they're on the outside and they have a tendency to drift out. And she did a little bit. I lost a couple of lengths. Uh, she's looking at the winner's circle in the gate here. And uh, once she got the gate pulled away and she saw the other horse in front of her, she straightened up and, and trotted very well from then on. I see no brakes at all on the line. What kind of gate does she have? Well, she's getting better gated all the time. She, we just had to be a little careful with her first few starts, and she's just kept getting more and more confidence. And uh, Chucky's been changing her shoes around, and she's just been getting stronger and, and better gated every week. How did uh, Jimmy Tactor's Dame Levesque making a break? Did that affect your strategy at all? 
Well, it certainly did because, you know, she's a, a front runner, and uh, I don't think I'd have tried for the front if, if Jimmy had been on, on the lead. But I think the fractions would have been faster and, uh, you know, it would have been a totally different race. Charlie Sylvester has been known to get some Philly, trotting Philly sort of races before. Tell us about his input here. Well, he does a great job. Anytime you, I get a chance to drive Chuckies in a big race, uh, you know they're going to be at their best. And last week, there was a, she had some new shoes on last week. Is that true? Chucky's changed her shoes uh, the last three weeks, and she's just uh, trotted better every week. He's, uh, he's great at, uh, at, at getting them balanced, and uh, she was definitely the best she's trotted uh, gate-wise tonight. And what were you thinking three-quarter pole, the favorite right on your back? My family felt strong at three-quarter pole. I thought, uh, I thought she was going to win three-quarter pole. I I'd, uh, hadn't asked her to trot at that point, and I was sure she'd still finish strong. John Campbell, the winning driver here with Feel the Motion from Post 10, the Mariannaville winner. Congratulations, Charles Sylvester.